video. Okay, hold on. All right, okay. I just made another clip. Okay, so Occupy Wall Street. You were saying that. Um, it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. It could have worked, but it didn't. And here's why. While Occupy Wall Street was going on, I was working at a financial company. Mm -hmm. So I had people who were, you know, protesting outside of building. And I guess I was one of the bad guys at the point. <laughs> <laughs> but here's why I think Occupy Wall Street didn't work. I read one of their little flyers on what they want, and it was so so unrealistic to a point where you know it almost seemed like a joke to me okay so i don't think they had one clear view on what they wanted i just think they wanted these big companies to fall and which is really not a good idea i mean look i can understand why they want it to fall coming from like you know student background you want like the rich people to fall but then what happens when they fall i mean they'll fall but We'll fall harder, so we sort of need them there. But I mean, obviously, well, someone else will become rich. Someone We're else will, but how did these big financial companies come to play? How did these banks come to play? Imagine if our stealing banks stealing from the poor people. I mean, think about it. I, I mean, mean, if you if you even when why, you watch the History Channel, mm -hmm. all these greats, and when you really go into it, they stole other people's property. They um, they created situations where. They bought people out. They starved people out. I mean, think about how the U.S. started. I mean, we stole from the Slavery. Native Americans, and yeah. all that you know, stuff. We took all their stuff, and then we decided we wanted slaves, and we owned people, and not necessarily we, but right, some no, other but I mean, people. As, as yeah, as. Um, <laughs> I was just trying to say, I'm like we. I'm like I didn't own anyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so, I mean, it's. Just, I understand that sentiment. It's so much corruption. Mm -hmm. there, there is a middle ground because if if you perceive yourself as an entrepreneur you obviously want to make money um you know your concept of success varies you know uh, from other people mm -hmm. but um yeah I, I think that's unrealistic i mean they're not all going to crumble but this whole thing of we need we need no i mean at the end of the day excuse me if we um if we made our own food and made our own clothes and had some sort of shelter and heat and, and solar, you know, for, for lighting, do we really need these big companies? I mean, there's I a mean, way out of At the end of the day, you, you know, maybe you don't. I mean, at the end mm -hmm. of the day, we could just go back to living the way we did thousands of years ago, you know, build our own huts. Who needs electricity? Who needs... Well, I um, need electricity. Right. I'm just <laughs> okay, saying I, I don't need to get it from you know, the electric company. There's ways and technology around it. Right. But again, these same people make laws that, well, if you have solar panels, you could only get certain amount. You know, we still have to test it. You still have to write us a check. And they, they come up with all these ways that they're still in the mix. Right. You know, I you mean, can't cut them out legally. For but energy, they're not necessary. We only have one company in New York, and that's Con Ed. And right. I mean, that's understandable. Imagine if we did have more, you know. But it's competition. I mean. It is competition, but where we, would you put these plants? <laughs> it would take up like the entire city. Well, that's the thing. If there's. Um, the Con Ed plant, like on the Lower East Side, is taking up so much space. So like, imagine you had like five well, more Well, that's of those. only because that one thing is doing everybody. It doesn't right. have to take up that much space. And competition is good. I mean, because. It's so expensive. Electricity is so expensive in New York. But do you really think if we did introduce more competition that the price would lower or would it go higher? I think it would go down. Do you really think it would go down? I think it would go down. Especially if they're not if they're not getting along. The only like for instance when um, Atlantic Bell mm -hmm. Grandma Atlantic what was the original name? Atlantic Grandma Bell when they forced that monopoly to break up. I mean oh, they like the phone company was that? Right. I was really young for that, yeah. When they did that, um, and again, you could go back in the books, look at the research. When they did that, and you look at all the, the they were coming down on big business. Let's break mm -hmm. up all the monop um, monopolies. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. Uh, look at it. Um, they just sold this to their cousin, this one to their friend. They still kind of owned everything. They just broke it up for show. Mm -hmm. And then years later, we see in our generation, Oh, this company is merging. This company, they were never separate. <laughs> it was it was all a game. 
you know, and um, there, there's something needs to be done. Something needs to be done. And competition, I mean, that's all capitalism. I mean, that is capitalism. I mean, but for something we, as um, valuable as electricity or something as needed as mm -hmm. uh, gas and electricity, I feel like it would be really difficult, especially since this is a natural resource. And right. dividing that up would be very, very hard. And I can understand how there's only one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But isn't it more dangerous? Because if they fail, again, like with, with the um, natural disasters, mm -hmm. I don't know, just put in our faith all in one company. They're going to do the right thing and they're going to, okay, these are the rates that are reasonable. But you know, people don't have money. I mean, the right. fact that one company, you're making all the money, mm -hmm. you control everything, bring it down. Yeah. You know? So I, can, I can get what you're saying. Yeah. So, again, I don't know. What do I know? I don't, I don't really know that much about that thing. All I know is the bills are very expensive. <laughs> and the lights that you see, <laughs> the fact yeah, you can see us. There's a lot of lights here. <laughs> I mean, we're paying them right now as we speak, <laughs> yep. which sucks. Yeah. yeah.